back with another video. Let's talk about some no fap, some sex addiction, and all that good stuff y'all like to hear me talk about. So, over these past few days, actually, like I say, probably a few weeks. I don't know, cause my mind been so, on so much other stuff. But um, I've been pretty. I've been doing good managing my sexual energy, my sexual urges, and all that stuff. And I'm gonna give you exactly what helps me get through this thing every single day so look this is all i do i i practice self-awareness so if you if you're dealing with a lot of sexual urges not being able to manage your sexual energy i said this probably like i don't know when quarantine started this is a good time to practice semen retention all right and i mean that okay so this is what i do I practice self-awareness. I become aware of what triggers me to want to give in to my sexual urges, okay? And really, all it be, it be two things. It be the fact that it's nighttime and I'm about to go to sleep, okay? And the other thing is, it, it's, I use it to escape sometimes. And since we got a lot of shit going on right now in the world, I wanna escape all the time. Now, I'm not gonna front. I even tell y'all in some of my videos, if you paying attention, I'm drunk in those videos, right? I've been drinking a lot of wine. So, because look, this is just me. I'm gonna keep it 100%. This is just my opinion. This is how I really feel. You know what I'm saying? I always go keep it 100. I feel like we always need some type of way to escape. So it's like, shit, I pick my poison. I don't want to give into that, that sexual shit. You know what I'm saying? Because I struggle with that more than anything. So I pick my poison. So like every other day, or every few days or some shit, I'll give me a little bottle of wine or some shit. Catch me a vibe. Now, that's not it though. Really what it comes down to, okay, I know that it, it, it really only happened at nighttime. Like when I'm out in nature, when I'm doing anything else, I'm good, right? Like most of the time when I'm giving into my sexual urges, it's not because libido or nothing like that. Usually it's just because, like I said, I use it for my anxiety and to escape the world and shit. So what I do is, I like, you gotta, I hold on to that awareness during the times where I'm triggered. So during nighttime, I don't forget about what I already know, what leads me to giving in to my sexual urges and shit. So as long as I'm holding on to that awareness, it's easier for me to choose not to give in to it. All right, I said it's easier, it's not necessarily easy. Okay, but if I got that, if I got the awareness, top of mind, okay, all I have to do is keep myself busy until I'm ready to go to sleep. It's easier since I have this awareness, but it's not always easy. But that's what's been working for me, being aware of what, of what triggers me, being aware of why I be giving into it, right? You always got to know why you doing stuff. Once you know why you're doing it, then it gives you more power because you can like kind of supervise yourself and know when you will, you know, do something that you might not want to do. Okay, and it also, I also been just enjoying balancing out my hormones, to be honest. I've been enjoying my libido and shit. It's, it's, it's helping me kind of be more social slightly you know what i'm saying not that i want to be more social or nothing but i'm just a different person and i'm not always emptying my energy you know what i'm saying so building up this energy i just like how i feel you know what i'm saying and that's that's really why i chose to escape in different ways you know what i'm saying i don't want to escape giving away my sexual energy and shit because shit i like it i like having it so that's all. So if you've been struggling with it, first thing you want to do is understand when you are triggered, okay? This is the shit that we always talk about. This is all you got to do. Understand what triggers you when you're triggered. You know what I'm saying? So get that. And then just be aware of it, man. Like, this shit ain't going to never be easy. It ain't going to never be easy. Right? It's like, what the fuck? It ain't going to never be easy. What's good, bro? King Seas is back in this hole to add more to this motherfucking video. It's crazy that I gotta say this. 
because a lot of people was in like the fucking online no fap community semen retention community let me say this one more time I started doing what we call no fap before I even knew what the hell it was all right so I'm not from the community I just started creating content around it, the subject and I seen that it was a community and I'm like okay cool you know what I'm saying my video started getting views but that community like it's good but it's a lot of bullshit inside that community right it's a lot of like woo woo type shit and it's kind of just stupid let me tell you why it's stupid it's stupid because people grown ass men act like having sexual urges is almost bad or some shit but like how the fuck do you think there is life so I'm mad I ain't getting no b-roll like I'm supposed to be recording this shit all the time but I don't know where you at on the planet right now but in Chicago it's a whole bunch of pollen and shit flying everywhere when me and my daughter riding our bikes, we flying through all type of pollen, like the little white feathery shits. And I recently, I think probably like a year or two ago, I, I really, I, I learned about what that was. So we, that shit flying on car, so just actually like tree sperm. Well, it's like, look it up your damn self, but it's, it's like, it's what, it's sperm in a nutshell. No pun intended, but like it's literally that's what it goes to the trees, right? The little white stuff, the pollen, it goes to the trees, and then the trees have acorns. I think that's how it works. I could be wrong, but basically, I say that just to say we are meant like we had a shit for a reason. It's natural, it's not bad. Like it's when you overdoing it and it's a it's an addiction, that's when it becomes bad. So people trying to do like a 100 day no fab streaks Like I, I never believed in that Even when I was doing it I was only doing it as an experiment You know what I'm saying If you look at some of my old videos From like last year I think that was last year When I was doing like 5 months of no fab I got a video and I was talking about Somebody asked me like Do you ever think you would do it again And shit like that I mean you don't necessarily have to fap But I never had the mindset of like I'm never gonna do something again. Like, no, I, I never had that mindset. But I just look. I'm only saying all that just to say, sexual urges are, are okay. And I'm mad I gotta say that because I ain't none of y'all dumb. Like y'all just into this fucking community and shit. Like just don't overdo whatever you're doing. That's really what it always gonna come down to. All right, so that's it. And if you're doing something in an unhealthy way, try not to do stuff in unhealthy ways. All right? I hope that helps somebody. I don't know if I needed to say that, but may maybe I did. Because I still be reading some of the comments and shit in the, in the, um, the NoFap groups. And it just be like, what the fuck? And it's like, every time I go back to those groups, shit get worse and worse. I'm like, what are y'all talking about? Like, y'all taking shit too serious. Fuck it. Man, people are weird old shit. It, it, it is what it is. Motherfuckers are weird as hell. But, um, like, just make sure you, you balancing your hormones out. You got your sexual energy where you can feel like a man. And you don't feel weird in your own skin because you know you be doing some shit that you shouldn't be doing. That's it. That, like, as long as you feel good in your skin about what you're doing, then you good. And if you don't feel good, then that's when you know you have an issue. And if you have an issue work on that issue simple as that all right now i think it's an issue when you try to go a whole year doing semen retention like i think that's a motherfucking issue because it's natural like every single man every single woman got hormones so that they could fucking repopulate the earth and shit because you see they trying to kill us motherfucker y'all need to be doing all the fucking y'all can right now <laughs> i'm gonna let y'all get back god damn it like it's only and it's not always gonna be some new information to say like i've been saying this shit for years <laughs> so i mean i'm gonna end this video find out what triggers you keep that keep your awareness during those times and choose not to do it do something else go to sleep and then when you wake up in the morning you're gonna feel good during that whole day you're gonna be like yes i'm glad i didn't do it but then when you triggered you ain't gonna really care about the future you know what i'm saying so it's, it's both sides but i mean you just got to be a man you got to do what the fuck you need to do for yourself and be responsible and that's just what high achievers do all right that's that's really it and it's just been working for me 
know what I'm saying? That don't mean it's gonna always work for me, but it's been working lately. So with that being said, I want you to take what I said, think about it, let it marinate and apply it to your life. I'm King Cease. Peace.